I am so happy to say that the first five days of the 40 Days for Life prayer vigil, 31 babies have been saved from abortion. We have much to rejoice about. God is moving in behalf of His people praying. God has given us a voice of love to speak out for the unborn. We are all called and prayer and fasting are ways to be that voice for the Lord. I want to encourage all of us to be praying for the following. First of all, the safety of the unborn. The womb should be the safest place for an unborn child, but today it is not necessarily so. Also for the mothers planning on aborting their babies, pray that their eyes will be open to see that this is a living child that God has given life to that they can choose adoption over abortion. There is help for those ladies. Also, let's be, remember to pray for the men to stand up for life and take responsibility. Let's pray for the workers in the Planned Parenthood centers and other abortion mills across the nation, that they would be set free from the lies of the enemy and that they will come out and be a strong advocate to those lives of the unborn. Let's also remember to pray for our legislatures. We need to pray for our representatives, but we also need to vote rightly. Many legislatures think that they have all the power. I say, wrong. In Matthew 28, 18, Jesus says, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Jesus has all power, not the legislatures. Also, let's remember to pray for 40 days for life in their mission to unite the body of Christ to pray and fast to end abortion. For the body of believers here at CCF, we are praying and fasting for these precious unborn babies. But I want to encourage you that now is the time to step forward and pray even more. We have more time. We have until April 14th for this 40 days of prayer and fasting. I want to encourage all of us to get out and pray. And if you're not able to go to the Planned Parenthood centers and at least be praying and fasting at home. Thank you so much. I am so grateful for the opportunity that we have to save an unborn baby's life. And let's all work together to do this.